Welcome back to WrenchFest Garage. Today we are back on the Ultimate Ford Dentside Cummins. If you've missed any of this build, check out our playlist for the Ultimate Ford Dentside Cummins. The plan for today is to get the inner fender wells and the radiator support prepped for paint and get a little paint shot on them. We've done some work on this on the last video. Um, I finished up some stuff off camera, got it all welded up, got it grounded. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's an inner fender well, so who cares? It'll work, should be functional. Let's get it prepped for paint. The reason that we're painting this now is just easier to get access to it. And I gotta get all this stuff mounted on the truck so I can put the radiator in it, so we can get some cooling in it, so we can start that motor. I put some material in here because it was just completely battery acid had got to it. It's completely rusted out, not a lot there. So I put some new material on it and I kind of got a little carried away with the size of it. So I'm gonna trim it down a little bit, do a little grinding, and then this one should be that much closer to, pra to, to, to painting, to painting. That much closer to painting. The point of the tape is I'm kind of getting old and blind and it just helps make a lot better line so you can go at it with the grinder, hopefully make a little bit straighter line. I did not completely grind these welds off because I wanted to leave a little bit for strength. Nobody's ever really going to see this. And also I think it would be cool someday for my grandkids to search for all my welds that I've done. You know, play a game called Find Papa's Welds. Something like that. I don't know. It might be cool. Prepping this for... Prepping this to prep it. To prep it and then I'm going to prep it. So that's what I'm doing is prepping it. I got to wire brush this whole thing. Get it ready for paint. It ain't going to be nothing special. Just get it good enough that uh, we'll get some paint on it, make it look half decent, and hopefully it won't rust. sander from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna give it a try. It's the first one I've ever owned. I bought like it's like a $40 one so it's probably not a great one but I wanted to try one see how they see how good they do. Oh. Okay evidently you can't hit. Break it already? Broke it already. Shh. There's there might be too many rust spots on this for this particular sand. <laughs> That's going good. I like it. <laughs> Perfect. It's working great. This is the radiator support. If you remember from a previous video, we put these mounts on so we can mount it to the 1999 Ford mounts. I need to finish them up. I need to finish welding them and put some other supports on them. And then obviously we got to clean this up and get ready for paint. This is the mount and this is the original hole right here where it used to go. So it's inherently has like a two inch body lift, but that's, that's how it worked out and we're going to finish welding them and it should be good. The reason that this headlight is stuck on there is because these nuts are like stripped out broke so we gotta either cut them off figure something out different i don't know not sure what we're gonna do but we'll get it off of there i gotta pull this rubber thing off before we paint it i don't know i don't know if i want to pull the whole thing apart 
or leave some of it on. The more I pull apart, the more I got to put back together in the future. So, but the more I pull apart, the better job it's going to be. I don't know. We'll see how it goes here in a minute. If y'all are expecting a shed truck, this may not be the channel for you. I've explained in past videos, this truck is going to be a work truck slash play truck. It may see a few car shows, but I've never had anything in a car show in the past. Just not really my thing, but I don't know. I guess if it's popular enough, we might take it to a few car shows. We'll see. All other methods have failed, so we're gonna go to the grinder. We're gonna cut these bolts off, and hopefully we can get this thing off. I'm over it. I got those welded in pretty secure, but now I'm gonna put some gussets on the bottom side of it. So this is actually some metal off of my trailer. If you look a few videos back, you can see the video where we made some ramps for my trailer, and this is what came off of the trailer. So we're gonna cut this up and make little gussets of it and weld them on. I've got these little tiny pieces cut up and cleaned up and this piece here is going to go on the bottom for the radiator support and then I'm just going to run a gusset like that and that'll be it. This is where the clutch master cylinder comes out of the firewall. We need to modify the fender well because it's gonna to want to occupy the same space. So we're gonna cut it up, hack it, weld it back up, get it ready for paint. It's nice and light. <laughs> okay. Very expensive. So we need to probably... Got it marked, gonna cut these two ends, gonna bend this down, see how it fits. Nice and easy. Needs more trimming. It just barely hit in the line for the clutch master, so I'm gonna trim just a little bit more off. Now the thing is too, it needs to be somewhat serviceable. That should do it. We got the mounts all welded up. We got all the miscellaneous parts stripped off of it. So now we're gonna go to cleaning this up and getting it ready for paint. Everything ready to paint we're gonna prime it and then we're gonna paint it black
we got everything painted black turned out pretty good next time we'll be throwing it on the truck that's about all we're going to get done today thanks for watching